Hey, greetings from Texas. All right, today is another installment of Cooking with Preps, um, where I try to give you food ideas, and I try food ideas um, from our prepper pantry. First off, I want to uh, send prayers and thoughts to those affected by uh, Hurricane Ian. Um, hopefully some of those folks uh, were prepared, especially um, some on the island that was isolated for several days. Okay, so today, um, we are going to do another uh, chili, canned chili. I found this, I did, uh, last one was raised chili, but when I was on Amazon, I also found this chili. It's called Chili Man Chili. Um, Two-time world champion from Terlingua, Texas, um, and Tropico, California chili cook-offs. So here's the uh, nutritional information. Hopefully you can see that okay. So we're gonna cook that and um, I have some leftover rice from our supper last night. And uh, what I like to do with leftover chili is um, I'll combine it with rice or spaghetti, make a casserole, bake that. Um, I've even layered it in lasagna or if you get um, Pepperidge Farm pastry sheets, and I make a kind of a little uh, uh, meat pie out of it, or Sleppy Joe mix. So uh, rice options, um, I'm half Japanese, so rice, good high quality rice is a big deal, but that may not be practical in an emergency situation. So these are two products I've tried in the past uh, when I was backpacking. Um, they came out with this boil in the bag. Okay, I mean, it's okay, it'll do in a pinch. And again, if you're in an emergency, um, you know, it's better than nothing. So the success rice, right? You just immerse it in boiling water and uh, let that go till it's heated through. Or uh, minute rice, okay, or Uncle Ben's converted rice, you can get that. And uh, this is done in five minutes. So these kind of products um, don't use a lot of energy. So we're gonna, um, I'm gonna serve that chili over some, uh, again, leftover rice that I had from last night's meal. All right, so let's get going. All right, chili man, let's see what you got. That's how we're looking in the can. I like the color. Nice and thick. So let's uh, heat this dude up. Okay, our chili man, chili is heated through. So I'm gonna go ahead and taste it as is. Smells appetizing. I can't remember what the rays taste like off the top of my head. But uh, this is pretty good for a canned chili. So it, um, it could use a little salt. But for a canned chili, um, it kind of tastes um, a little reminiscent of a um, homemade chili. I don't know, if you've beaten canned food, you know what I mean. Now, a lot of stuff in our prepper pantry is not stuff that we eat normally, because I cook from scratch a lot. Um, I mean, in an emergency, I'm not going to be too picky, but you know, you might as well be enjoying, you know, if it's within your budget, enjoy the food that you're going to have to eat because a good meal, good warm meal can do a lot for your morale. Okay. So we have our chili and our rice and rice is a good extender. 
gonna give you some uh, carbs for the energy that you'll need. Okay, I still think it needs a little salt. It's mild, there's no hotness to it. So folks that are heat sensitive, um, I think Sabrina and myself, we would probably add some hot sauce. Okay, I'll give that a thumbs up. Again, I got that on Amazon. Um, I ordered a whole case, 12 cans, and um, it's this time of year that we are going to rotate our um, some of our can stores. So, all right, folks, I would say that's a decent chili to try. Definitely good for camping. I would add a little bit of salt and some heat to it. Other than that, I uh, appreciate you stopping by. Stay safe, and thanks for watching.